Hey Epizodians! Today I will show you how to create toppable dressing games. Let's begin with saving the pieces of the outfits. Just right-click on them and they will be saved as the PNG image. Open Photoshop or any other editor and create a new file with the size of 700 to 800 pixels with transparent background. Open the pieces of outfits we saved earlier. Select it using Ctrl plus A and copy it using Ctrl plus C. Paste the stress to the file we created at the beginning by using Ctrl plus V and play around with its size by pressing Shift plus Ctrl plus T. We will place three outfits here, so put the dress to the left. You can close it now. Do the same with the shoes, make them fit the dress. When changing size, try holding Shift or Alt to save the proportion. Close the shoes and open the pieces of the next outfit. Repeat the steps until all three outfits are completely combined. Merge the pieces of outfits together according to the outfit they belong to. Leave the necklace out of merging to fit it better later on. Let's add a hanger. Open it and copy it three times, placing the hanger layer behind the outfit's layers. Change its size to fit the clothes. We will draw the straps here later. When fitting the hanger to the t-shirt, we will have to cut a part of it out so it will look like it's inside of the shirt. To do this, put this hanger layer before the t-shirt. Fit the outfit to the hanger to save the line. Zoom in and cut the hanger using polygonal lasso tool. Make it look like the hanger is inside of the t-shirt.
Now let's draw the straps. Select the outfit layer and use the brush tool to draw the lines. Make it size 3 pixels and use the black color. Shift the necklace if necessary. Cut out the excess. Shift the sneakers a bit to make it even. Ok, our outfits are ready. Now let's put them on the background. I'm using this one. Merge all the layers together and paste them on the background. Use Shift plus Ctrl plus T to fit it to the pole hanger. Save this in JPG format. We will upload it in the art gallery as a background. Now we need to create a rectangle, which we will use to tap on the outfits. Select the approximate outfit area, press Ctrl plus C and create a new file. It will already have the needed size. Make its background black or white. It doesn't really matter, as this overlay will be invisible. Save it in PNG formats. We will upload it in the art gallery as an overlay. Let's name it DJ Rectangle. Upload the background and the rectangle in the art gallery. It's time to code. Paste the background and let's put the character at the zone number 3. Put the command cut to zone 3. I'm using ampersand so the future transition command will work correctly without glitching. Now, hit the preview button to fit the character to the background. Copy these coordinates and let's make the character enter to them from the right. She will come from this position. Replace the coordinates in the first command. Let's also put the transition command. Here we need to put some dialogue to show that the dressing game is about to begin. I am putting brackets around it so it will look like a thought bubble instead of a speech bubble.
Let's shift the position of the bubble a bit. Copy this and put it before the dialog. Don't forget to put a speech bubble reset comment. Next we need to put a label. Let's name it dressing game. Put here cut zone 2 comment. It's where our outfits would be. Now we're gonna use the rectangle to copy it and create the outfit overlays from it to top. For this we will need the commons overlay black dress for example, create from DJ rectangle and etc. Now we need to fit the orelets we created from DJ Rectangle accordingly to the outfits they represent. Once you do this, write down their coordinates in the script following my example. Let's make them tappable. Do this by writing the comment you see on the screen. After the reader makes the choice, cut to zone 3, it's where our character is standing, and make her do undressing animations, and then change into the chosen outfit. Add some idle animation and add a question whether the reader likes the outfit or not. If the reader likes the outfit, he will proceed with the story, for this we need to add a new label after the dressing game. Let's name it Continue. If the reader doesn't like the outfit, he will go straight to the beginning of the dressing game to try something new. Copy this part and paste it to other two outfits, changing the names. Let's see what we have. This is it. It's not that hard, is it? Let's try making our background panable. For this we need to pull the outfits a bit farther away from each other. You must remember all the steps by now. If you find yourself struggling, watch the beginning of this video to remember the hotkeys.
Replace the background and adjust the overlays once again. Cut to all three zones to do this. And the finishing touch, add a common spun in brackets. That's what we got. You can find this template on my Patreon page. Make sure to check it out. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video tutorial.